Good afternoon, D&D, &D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today's episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by Hero Forge. Hero Forge lets you design and print your own miniatures for tabletop games. I've been using Hero Forge for years to design my own D&D characters. They've recently released a new pro feature called Kit Bashing, which allows you even more customization. You can add up to 20 additional elements to your model and move things around in ways you never could before. The team over at Hero Forge used their new Kit Bashing feature to create a model of Earl for me, and it's pretty stinking sweet. So head on over to HeroForge.com and start designing your miniature today. All right, without any further ado, let's roll for bread. Five, Italian. We've rolled Italian bread quite a bit recently. I'm still making my way through this slightly squished loaf of bread, and we are still cursed, so no toasting. Next up, let's roll for Maine. One, pickled turkey gizzard. Oh boy. We rolled these last season, and I used a level three transmute Maine spell to avoid them, but not today. Sealed for my protection, huh? Not sealed enough. These are an organ that birds have that crushes up food that they have eaten because birds don't have teeth. People in the Southern United States enjoy them fried. I've heard they can be rather chewy, but cutting into them, they seem pretty soft. And I'm guessing it's because of the pickling. The vinegars had some time to break them down a little bit and hopefully that works out to our advantage. Next up, we're rolling for cheese. It's bacon, horseradish, cheddar. My usual excitement over bacon is a bit dampened today based on what we're putting it on, but uh, this cheese is pretty tasty on its own. Hopefully it can uh, help us out here. Okay, on to our roughage. Double twos, extra daikon radish. Okay, not sure how helpful that's gonna be either. Daikon radish is a little sweet a little piquant, nice and crunchy. Definitely gonna be crunchy with the amount of these that we are adding because of the double. But uh, we could have rolled worse, I guess. All right, let's get wild with our wild magic roll. 16, rye chips. Garlic rye chips are, in my opinion, the best part of any party snack mix. And if you don't agree, that's fine. Everyone has their own opinion and it's okay to be wrong. This is definitely gonna be a crunchy sandwich. And last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. Here we go. Seven, gochujang. Gochujang is a Korean sauce made from red chili paste and fermented soybeans. It's a little sweet, a little savory and spicy. Not the sauce I was expecting, but it's not unwelcome. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich put together here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together and let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. Okay. Well, the Sword of Damocles has finally fallen. And now we get to find out whether I made the right call using that spell last season or not. Let's uh, give this one a taste. Overall first impressions is it's kind of weird, but honestly, I don't, I don't feel like it's that bad. Tastes like dark meat, turkey and vinegar. And pickled, this kind of has the texture of like a roast. It pretty much falls apart. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't set out to make this sandwich on purpose, but it's really not the worst thing in the world. The turkey gizzards taste a lot better than they look. Well, now I can rest without a sense of impending doom, at least for now. I'm going to go ahead and give this sandwich a 5.2, and I'm going to call it Turkey Gizzard and the Sandwich Wizard. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you again on Friday.